Hello and welcome to Conflict Times. My name is Sebi Kazmi. Russian invasion begins and what does it mean for Ukraine? In today's news, Vladimir Putin has made a national address on Russian television to recognize the independence of two breakaway republics in Ukraine's east. Immediately after the announcement, the United States, the United Kingdom and the European Union called the move a breach of international law. Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered his defense ministry to dispatch Russian troops to maintain peace, maintain peace in eastern Ukraine's two breakaway regions, Luhansk and Donetsk regions. Now, this is a significant escalation of Kremlin's driven crisis over Ukraine. Russian troops have been seen entering into the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine and Vladimir Putin has made a decision to recognize the territories as independent state. Many in the West are now fearing that an invasion of the Ukraine has already begun, sparking fear that the war is imminent. The situation remains just as hostile now it as did weeks ago and many believe that sending troops into these regions to maintain peace is just nonsense. Russia has now moved in on Ukraine's sovereign territory and are making threat of violence. Turkey, keep a distance. Today I want to talk about the following topics in the following order. What is the situation of Ukraine now? What will happen when Russia invades Ukraine? And number three is what possible sanctions can US impose on Putin? Now what is the Ukraine's situation right now? Tensions in Europe have skyrocketed. There are tens of Navy vessels and thousands of planes, tanks, artillery units and other equipment ready to be engaged within hours. Mr. Putin has officially acknowledged two pro-Russians, rebel Ukrainian territories and recognizing them as independent region. And he immediately sending his troops for peacemaking. Vladimir Putin has broken international law to recognize these two rebel Ukrainians region. And according to independent Russian news agency Interfax, Eyewitnesses have claimed the two column of armored vehicle are on territory of Donetsk People Republic and follow to the north and west of the Republic. On Monday night, Ukrainian officials said Russian troops have already entered in separate territory. The official said the local police in the town of Malikava, 15 kilometers west of rebel-held Donetsk, have, so, have seen that it appeared to Russian armored vehicles on the move. Now, there is a video showing of a column of military vehicles moving in convoy along a road. Ukraine's officials said it was not possible to tell if the troops belonged to the regular Russian army or were from Russians controlled separate units. So there's two. We currently know that Russia has massed up 190,000 troops on the border of Ukraine with separatists accounting around another 30,000. So on Saturday on Kremlin, Eastern Ukraine in a school kindergarten was damaged by mortar fire and people were injured and taken to the hospital. In panic, thousands of residents fled the region in chaotic evacuation and many more thousands are fleeing their homes in the capital Kyiv and heading then west to Lviv. Many believe the capital will be a military target and many are fearing for their family. They don't want to put their children and family in the danger because they're heading out of the capital. Now, what will happen when the Russia invades Ukraine? The capital is believed to be a primary target and it could be hit by missiles and bombardment or shelling. It is a city of 2.8 million innocent people and many thousands could be killed if they have not relocated to the safer area in the West. Many people in Ukraine don't trust the West and they won't listen to the warnings from Joe Biden, Boris Johnson or the others. Russia is expected to attack simultaneously on several fronts, land, sea and air, from northeast Donbass and Crimea. Now, ground troops in Belarus, backed by airstrikes, would spearhead a lightning drive south to seize the capital. Ukraine's army would be forced, in theory, to surrender if Russian army is just too big, it is so big to compare to Ukrainians. Ukrainians who simply do not believe that Russia is going to invade will stay in their homes. Now, Ukraine has a full military training to thousands of people and some people will not leave and be forced to fight if a full invasion occurs. It is believed that thousands in eastern Ukraine will either die, be injured, or be sent to the camps. Artillery, missiles, bomb strikes, ground clashes, that could kill estimated 50,000 civilians or more in capital. And if people flee, more would die 
and they do not evacuate early, that's a more danger. Many thousands have already fled eastern Ukraine and they're heading to the safer areas in the west. The city is more older and is located closer to Poland and Slovakia in the west. The city is more European and would be a major city for people seeking refuge away from the conflict areas in eastern Ukraine. Now, Donbass people region and the conflict of Crimea 2014 have sought refugees in the past. Now, they will be safer if they move to the safe places, but this could be a huge humanitarian and refugee crisis in Europe. Thousands of thousands of people could be forced out from their homes and they have nowhere to go. Now, what possible sanctions can U.S. impose on Vladimir Putin? U.S. President Joe Biden has signed an executive order to deny Russia the chance to profit from its blatant violation of international law. The executive order will prohibit all new investment, trade, and financing the U.S. persons to form or in so-called, don't say called Luhansk People's Republic. It's believed the European Union will impose sanctions that strike at the heart of Russia's economy. It could permanently end Nord 2 gas pipeline connecting Russia to Germany. Certification of the pipeline would then be stopped and this pipeline has been built but is not yet operational, remember, and still awaiting from German and EU regulatory to approve. Boris Johnson is to hold a meeting in the UK this morning to sign off a package of sanctions against Russia after his military occupation of two breakaway states in eastern Ukraine. Boris Johnson would hold this emergency meeting to discuss this rapidly unfolding crisis and it's agreed to a significant package of sanctions to include introduced immediately. Now, in my opinion, UN Security Council will be holding an emergency meeting tonight following Vladimir Putin's uh, directive to send Russian troops to um, Donetsk and uh, Luhansk to maintain the peace. peace. This meeting comes at the request of Ukraine, US and six other countries. Russia had made a move on Ukraine's sovereign territories and must pay with economic sanctions. I believe Russia is not only committed to a diplomacy and a plan of full invasion to eastern Ukraine, they have a bigger plan. Currently, 1.5 million people in Ukraine who are forced to leave their houses in this fighting begin 2014. This further invasion makes millions of families displaced and they can't come back to their home. It will cause a large-scale humanitarian and refugee crisis in Europe, which we have not seen before. And I hope it won't happen. My name is Sebi Kazmi, and you're watching Conflict Times. See you next time.